Thanks a lot, USPS. Just drop kicking this thing to my door. <laughs> I've put this mold through some abuse as well. Uh, I've had this for a bit. I've been fishing with it for a while. Been clamping it up. The new mold. Oh, I had tails in here, whoops. The epic tapworm. As you can see immediately, a second sprue just for tails, tail cavities, body cavities. This thing shoots so good. Look at all that worm oil. I kind of keep worm oil all over here for lubricant to get those tails in easier. It's called the epic tapworm because that tail always moves. The slightest little tiny bit of water will take it everywhere. This wispy thin and it, there's a break in the tail where it's just two really thin pieces of plastic playing with each other and it bounces the rest around. It's just a really bouncy, always moving tail and you just wait for that tap. Wait for something to tap your worm. That's all you gotta do. Epic tap worm. Let's inject. Straight out of the vacuum. That's a pretty sweet color. The body on this bait is slightly tapered in the center. That's to try to add to bounciness. Most mass on both ends, not in the middle. Now that's a worm. Those tails are just gonna be psycho in the water. It's like a hybrid ribbon slash ringworm tail. I'm so happy with the tail. Okay. The tap worm. So many different ways to rig it. What am I gonna do? It's like a jointed Ned head. I want the head to shake still. I don't want to push that worm up on it. Murderous. I've been fishing with this for hours. And this is gonna feel so weird to put this tiny little worm on. I just got a fish. First fish on the tapworm. It's official. Large mouth. Like the epic tapworm. Be free. This is such a light wire hook that it bent out on that bass. Okay, that was a bunch of remelt. That's a more natural color than I could make thinking about it. Oh yeah. That's gonna look like a turd with a dust trail running through the water. This is one of them spots where every time you hear some old guy drives by and says that they're biting minnows. You can't ever be wrong if you say they're biting minnows. That's solid advice. All right, we're probably gonna catch a fish here. Boy, that took a long time. Smallmouth, second species. Like the tapworm. Smallmouth tapped it, fellas. Be free. It's called liquid fire. Start with two drops of black. That's like eight drops of black. 10. It brought the blue out. Liquid clean burning fire. Liquid propane fire. Oh man, it did it. It did it. It made those straight poop brown tails just look all right. That's hard to do. I'm not gonna say good. Liquid fire. Oh, I just dropped them in the cup. I just dropped them in the cup. Gave them kind of a splattered, wounded look. Very nice. <laughs> Those are what I'm excited for. That's a good color for the tails. We've only caught two fish so far, a small mouth and a large mouth. This needs to change. 
because this is like the purpose of this bait was to catch fish it's not the most detailed bait from epic bait molds but its design was based around just catching fish so it's going to be pretty important that i catch fish in this video let's get this kayak in the water and catch more i guess it's appropriate that the fish are being kind of finicky because i'm not really showing anything impressive if i just go to a stocked pond that bites 24 7 you know And, and I'm not saying I'm not going to go to a stocked pond later. I, I probably will. Okay. This is where I left off. Clown pattern with the jointed Ned head offset hook. Gotcha. Fish on. It's staying down. What is this? Is this a pike? This a bowfin? It's a it's a snagged smallmouth buffalo. Woo! Oh, these things fight hard. That's exciting. It definitely went for it because it was snagged like more so in the face. Wow. This is gonna be a tough thing to land. What a psycho. Snagged in the pectoral fin. It's getting a lot of leverage. Just let go. I just want you to let go. This would be good bait for a 100 pound flathead. That's the size bait you want right there. This thing's about to blow up in the kayak. It's official. Smallmouth buffalo, like the tapworm. Be free. That was in like a foot of water over here. That was motor oil and pearl white. Try to make a dark but pearly color. I like that. Dark, pearly, slightly translucent. You can see the flake in there with that liquid fire tail. That's a color right there. Fish on. This one feels different. It's a bass. This hook has amazing barb. It's official again. Largemouth river largy. Love the new tapworm. Oh my goodness. It's the most a fish has ever splashed me in a kayak. Oh. Okay, that's a good sign that we can coerce a bite out of them in the middle of the day like this. I guess it's still morning. It's like nine o'clock. Oh, buddy. Whoa. This thing was getting destroyed down there. It went five feet to my left and it was like tap, 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 tap. Highlight violet, smallest silver flake that I know of, and two drops of black. That's a pretty crazy color. Super high altitude hopes for this one. Oh yeah, yep. Yep. That's just highlight violet. There's no violet color in this, just highlight powder. That's pretty awesome. But in person, it's just this ridiculous purple. It's probably that way on camera. That looks good. See all the translucency still? Wowzers, wow. That might be thumbnail. Probably not bright enough to be thumbnail. I gotta catch your attention with some colors. Let's get some colors going. So if you get in a hurry and you do a little misplacement, misalignment, of these tails, when you put them back in the mold, you can pinch the edges and make a little frilly poo. Just like that. But in my fisherman opinion, I'd probably grab this one if I saw it amongst the others. Grab the frilly one, you know? Catches more water. That's not an endorsement to misplace your tapworm tails, by the way. It's not the goal. Fish on. That was the most gentle, intentional hook set I've ever done. Because I wasn't sure if it was a fish, but I set the hook anyway. 
It's official. Stocky little river bass, like the tapworm. Be free. Awesome. Okay, now I would say it's good and official. We've effectively caught fish on this slow day. Let me tell you, it's slow. <laughs> Late summer, dogged fish. That crazy stuff is a color made out of this stuff, which you cannot reheat in a microwave because it has real metal in it. Let's see how it looks in the tapworm. That's that violet highlight stuff for the tails. It's like just as shiny as the aluminum. That's insane. That stuff is so silver. That really does the trick. That's like, it looks like metal. It looks like metal beads, you know? I'd say that's a very sophisticated assortment of colors right there. Nothing too bright. I didn't shoot anything that bright. Maybe I'll come back and shoot more if bright's the ticket. I just whiffed. Epic tapworm sight fishing. It's official. <laughs> Be free. Last effort. Maybe they're really, really, really not biting. Never mind. It's got like a checkered pattern. Probably just bluegill. It's official. Bluegill like the tap war. Got another. That was on a quarter ounce jig head. Not bad for a little bluegill. Easy peasy tails to transfer, especially because of the gap back here. That helps line it up so much. Super chartreuse, super shad guts, blood, with the silver tail. That's right, this is a laminate. This mold was not meant to be laminated, but I'm gonna try it. I shot that really cold too, like 310. Hopefully they're clean lines. Oh yeah, that's a clean line. We got shad guts red. Chartreuse. There's a lot of gold flake and stuff in this chartreuse too. Real metal silver flake tails too. I like this one. This is probably my favorite one so far. And I really don't mind the incorrect way it's laminated. It's not laminated with the tail correctly. But these were meant to just be bounced around. And I don't think the fish is supposed to understand the orientation up, down, belly. It's just a worm, you know? I still appreciate that lamination, man. Oh, way down to the last one even. These tails did it too, they laminated great. Lighter, flashy chartreuse with gold and stuff. But the, the red's really showing through though. And then that's the red side, just a bit darker. That's gonna offer contrast too as the tail kicks. Yep, that was blocking a vent. You wanna check and make sure that absolutely none of your vents are blocked and there's no material in the way. Air needs to escape. That was a lot of black, and that's a little bit of color shift powder. I don't even know what colors. The bag was not labeled. We need more of that. Ah. Good. This one is just gonna have flake holographic, small red, even smaller silver in liquid form, like I said before, and even black. That's like a medium black. I forgot to clamp the top of that. It's not gonna help now. 
but I did anyway. I'm kind of excited for this one. Good. We see the dark side first. Oh, I guess you see the whole thing. <laughs> Whoops. That looks so insane. Even the tails. Kind of just dark on that side. A little bit of flake showing through. And then you can see all the flake on the other. One last demold and then I'll show you some good action footage. Go to one more spot, see what we can make happen. You don't even know what these colors are. They're pretty crazy. June bug, along with what's called fire orange. And there's glitters and stuff inside of the fire orange and June bug. Lavender flakes inside of there. It breaks up the June bug a little bit. What else? Oh, just a sprinkle of silver flake and the orange to break up the orange a little bit. <laughs> That's putting off the vibe. Let's get to the spot. You can really tell that the tail is two different colors. I think that laminating the tail stuff really makes a difference. It gives it contrast when it flips around on itself. Fish on! Is this a, oh my goodness, another bluegill on a five inch worm. They like this thing. Be free. This dude went on a ride. That was a full cast of having to reel in. <laughs> I didn't charge my GoPro last night, so I'm out of battery. Now is the time to remember everything that I have to say about this mold. What else did I need to tell you? The head design was fatter up front, more meat. This thing stayed on hooks. It shoots five at a time, but there wasn't a day where I used more than five. Pretty sure. I think five was as much as I used in one day. And that was all with extremely soft Bait Plastics 152 Plastisol. It's fun to shoot this mold just kind of running with the colors you're coming up with and what you made for the body, just throw in the tail and then figure out another body color to go with that tail and just keep going and going and going. I was doing that and that was fun. It really gets you thinking of colors, especially when you're laminating both the tails and the body. This was one of those baits I just wanted. I wanted my design of this kind of bait and just making the tail in that super specific tapered, bended, slot style thing right there. That makes it a very indecisive tail. See for yourself, go to epicbaitmolds.com, get the mold, shoot some yourself. This one's fun. I didn't even touch on the different rigging options. But you guys have brains too, and you can figure out how to rig this kind of stuff. That's part of the fun. You can rig it in unique ways. Yeah, man. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Epic Bait Molds, Jason and Amanda. Thanks for getting a mold if you got a mold. And thanks for supporting the entire endeavor that me and Epic Bait Molds are kind of doing, you know? This huge collaboration. Like, there's already a pretty sweet library of Marling Baits, Epic Bait Molds, collaborated mold designs. And within that, this was the first warm mold. I need to kind of fill out, you know? Design something of everything that I fish with, not just things that fit on a 4 out beast hook because it's my favorite way of fishing. I'm gonna start going for variety when it comes to the collaboration molds, I think. So, on to that. On to the next bait. That's gonna look like a turd with a dust trail. Whoops. What a psycho. This needs to change. Dogged fish. Liquid propane fire. Wait for something to tap your worm. Woo!